Terry, we need to get to Texas. It's T-minus a day now. Straight. It's going to space. Yes, we're going to talk to him. And the entire crew, Laura, Lane, Cameron, Evan, Dylan, there they all are. We'll check in with them in just a moment. But first, let's check in with our transportation correspondent, Gio Benitez, who by tomorrow, I'm guessing we might be calling you stowaway. I know you want to get on that, on that craft. <laughs> I'll find my way on, TJ. I'll find my way on. Good morning to you. Listen, we are getting closer and closer to that launch. Michael and the crew have just one day left of training before liftoff. It has been a wild ride so far. Take a look. Day two of training for Michael began with a run through of launch morning at the tower, 80 feet above the desert, seven flights of stairs, and inside the safety shelter. Good morning, astronauts. Welcome to your uh, emergency safety shelter. Properly named since it's the most secure place on the tower. This is the place you're going to go if anything goes wrong on the tower before we launch. You're never going to go downstairs. So the only places you go is either in the capsule or in this room. Safety of the Blue Origin astronauts is exceedingly important, so they have equipped the shelter with emergency air supply, direct radio access to mission control, and safety ratings to withstand explosions. The entire booster can explode and you'll be in here and be safe. And outside the shelter, Michael and his crewmates practice crossing the gantry or bridge to the tower where they will load into the capsule. On the way, a Blue Origin tradition ringing that bell. At the crew access tower, a quick explainer. We'll get to go in the capsule. You're going to left around the end in your seat and then immediately start buckling in. Michael taking it all in. The beautiful view up here between the mountains. The closer we get, the more of these things that we do where we're on the, the launch tower and walking across the bridge, ringing the bell, the more you know that this is the reality. So very excited. Back at the astronaut training center, the day ended working inside the test capsule. With three to four minutes in space at zero gravity, the Blue Origin astronauts need to be masters at the technique of rolling into and out of their seats. The biggest limitation of training to go to space on Earth is we can't simulate zero gravity. However, the technique that we have for getting back in the seat, you can execute it in 1G and do all of the motions. By the time they get into the zero G environment, they know their steps cold and they just execute it. You ready to try this, Michael? Yep. All right, here you go. You're clear to egress. There you go. You loosen up, feet out, pop the harness, and then float out. <laughs> well, I've been doing so much fun. Everybody, get over there. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Do those somersaults. This morning, as always, Mission Control is watching the weather. Forecasters are expecting high winds tomorrow afternoon, but right now the morning is looking pretty good. So, so far, we are go for launch, guys. All right. Okay, Gio, thank you. Now we're joined by Michael and his fellow crew members, Laura Shepard Churchley, <laughs> Lane Bess, Cameron Bess, Evan Dick, and Dylan Taylor. Welcome to all of you. Great to see you guys. So, Michael, I have to ask, how is your pre flight routine different from your pre game routine? <laughs> Oh, you know what? Actually, I probably sleep a little bit better for the pre-flight routine, George, wow. because, you know, it was different in, in sports and football. But you see, we're in the training center right now. I'm here with my fellow astronauts, and we have been training so much, going through all the different protocols, all the different safety features that you feel very confident, and we all feel very confident we can perform any function that we may need if called upon and just all the different things getting in and out of the seat all these things that i never knew you needed to know you just think you kind of get in strap up go up come down but there's so much that you learn here and it, it's just been fantastic it puts you at ease and i know i know we're all excited and we bonded as a team here in van horn texas ah oh, that bond i love it uh, laura let me ask you of course we know alan shepherd your beloved father, the, the, his forever place in history. Laura, what do you think he would be saying to you right before liftoff? Well, he'd probably tell me that it was going to be a beautiful view and that I needed to look at the view as opposed to just doing somersaults in the weightlessness. <laughs> well, Laura, you have had But he the, would say he uh -huh. would say he would say to go for it, Laura. <laughs> Laura, you have had the best there answers. Yeah. We've really enjoyed yeah. talking oh. to you. You had yeah. great Ooh, great answers. Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're, we're talking about your your dad there. Oh, just seeing your reaction is precious. But you, we have there with us too Cameron and Lane. This is the first Yes. parent-child duo it's going to be going to space now how special of mm -hmm. of an experience is this for you all to be able to do it together well I, I'm very proud to be able to do this with my son it was a boyhood dream of mine 
Cameron and I used to shoot model rockets when he was young, and to be able to do this real and do it <laughs> uh, together, uh, you can't ask for more, uh, to be able to be a father and child opportunity to go to space. I'm just happy he brought me along. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's a great opportunity. <laughs> I'll bet you are. So Dylan, what was it like to put on the spacesuit for the first time? Oh boy, uh, you know, this is a lifelong dream for me, George, so to actually go through the training and actually have a flight suit with my name on it and uh, the mission patch, which I think you all have seen, which is brilliant, uh, it's a dream come true, it really is. It's so great to see you guys all in those uniforms, it looks like a Marvel movie. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're ready, Hollywood, call us up, we got the next crew right here ready to go. Well, we cannot wait, Michael. We are watching you. We are here for you. T minus one day to go. Thank you all. And we're going to have live coverage of the launch Thank tomorrow you. morning starting at 930 yeah. Eastern. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.